school counselors and school counselors to be thank you guys so much for coming to my channel the inspiring school counselor and today i actually wanted to share with you guys another counseling tool that i absolutely enjoy using with my students and i figured i'm right now on lunch so let me go ahead and just squeeze this in so this video might not be that long because soon my lunch is about to end but as you guys can see i have a tray right here that is full of sand and this is actually sand tray therapy or you could just say sand play therapy and and this is just something that you would use um, if it is that they went through a traumatic experience or they have some things that's going on within them or maybe in their uh, home environment. Um, so it might be hard for them to express that. And so you would use that this in that case. And I also have different objects that I like to have with me. Now, this is just some of many objects that I have to work with my students. Um, but I have like little people. You have, I don't really know what this is called, but it's kind of like um, Lego type of, like a Lego type of thing. So I don't even know what to call it. I have like some Play-Doh cuttery type of objects here. And I have a lot of random stuff. So these objects is what they can use to play in the sand. And this is not just any type of sand. This is that sand that, you know, I think, I think it's kind of like moon sand. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it just falls a lot slower than what regular sand would and the kids love this this is actually a timer so whenever i do with this with my students especially when i know that we're kind of pressed for time so we might not can spend a whole lot of time i like to use this in order to help them to know okay it's almost time to wrap things up so this is a 10 minute timer i have a three minute timer and also a five minute timer and i also even have a one minute timer but I just find these very beneficial to use, especially when you're doing, you know, counseling tools and different things with students. Because sometimes the students can have so much fun, they don't want to end. So before I start, I like to just let them know, hey, we're kind of pressed for time today. We only have about 10 minutes. So I'm going to set my timer and then they know as they are watching it, they know, okay, soon is the time for us to wrap it up. So I like to just have that out with me, but um, I wanted to share this with you guys because this has been so beneficial. I have not had a chance to use it yet um, this year because obviously the COVID-19 and everything that's been happening. But the last time I used this was back in February, January or February um, with two of my students. One, um, his parents was getting a divorce and it was just hard for him to concentrate in school. So the teacher reached out to me and wanted me to talk to that student and we were making some progress. He really enjoyed it. He even went home and told his parents that he had somebody to talk to. And I also use it on another student that um, I, I guess he was showing like symptoms of like ADHD and he also couldn't talk that good. And so at least I was able to get him to express himself through through putting the objects in there. And I was able to understand him a little bit. Um, I still have to work with him, um, not with this as of yet, but kind of just do some individual counseling with him um, just to kind of help him through this school year. But I just want to take out the time to show you guys this counseling tool if you don't have one i do encourage you to get one um i thank you guys so much for your time if you have not subscribed make sure you subscribe and also make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time i upload a video all right you guys i'll see you next time